So slurry is typically applied to soil to provide nutrients for crop growth. We typically apply slurry to meet the nitrogen requirement of the growing crop. But because slurry is so high in phosphorus, this oversupplies phosphorus to our growing crop. So what we would like to do, because of the farming rules for water, that requirement would reduce the amount of slurry you could apply if you had a soil P index of three or above. So for farmers, they would then be faced with a situation where they wouldn't have enough land bank or they'd have to reduce the number of cattle they have to be able to continue spreading the volume of slurry they generate. So we wanted to try and develop a process that would recover phosphorus from slurries to enable farmers to comply with that regulation. If we oversupply phosphorus to our soils, it can reduce crop growth. It can also lead to soil washout into the watercourses, which can lead to biodiversity loss. So in 2021, Harper Adams was awarded funding to try and extract phosphorus from slurry to help comply with changing regulations. We had a project funded by DEFRA and delivered through Innovate UK as part of the Farming Innovations Platform Feasibility Study. And we wanted to take cattle slurry and working with our industrial partner, Elentech Bio, use their technology to remove the phosphorus. So first we took raw cattle slurry, we removed the organic fraction, and then we stripped the phosphorus to make a condensed phosphorus product. This resulted in a low phosphorus but high ammonium slurry that could be land applied. We were then interested in whether this recovered phosphorus was bioavailable so it could be used as a future fertilizer source. 